Hey, how's everyone doing out there? I hope well. I got my hands on another kit of bee dye. Yep, I've been able to uh, test out another kit here. It's a it's a G Skill Trident Z non RGB 3200 MHz CL14 kit. So I've been really happy with my results. I've had a chance to test it out with my uh, 2700X CPU and my 3800X CPU, and I did get uh, I did get different results. So hang in there, and I'll uh, I'll give you the results here in a few minutes here. So this is what we're looking at here. Like I said, it's a, the G Skill Trident Z non RGB. It's a silver and black. I think these look great this is aesthetically is probably my favorite kit here the coloring the non-rgb uh the quality of the heat spreader it's thick it's dense it's heavy it's really nice the pcb solid it's thick and then you know that those samsung beat iics are just off the chain you know you know that they're going to be really good so i've been super happy with this kit like i said i love the look of it it's beautiful um, it's a 3200 megahertz kit, CL14, so a 141414 14, 14, 34 at 135 volts here. So I've been happy with this kit. Um, it's actually a dual rank kit with a B2 layout. So this is a 16 gig stick. So it's a it's two by 16. So it's a 32 gig kit here. And you can see when I say dual rank, you can see actually the the the, the Samsung BDI chips right here. Right here, right here. So you got you got a set of four here, set of four below it, set of four here, and a set of four here. So that makes it dual rank because it's on each side of the PCB, each chips, and then how they're laid out, groups of four, groups of four. That would be the B2 layout. So these actually will clock probably a little bit higher than what what a B1 layout would be. But uh, these are a little bit more difficult on the memory controller. So you're probably not going to clock these quite as high as a single rank stick. But uh, it's 16 gig, so that that you know that's the benefit you get out of it. So you can see them there installed. They look so nice. I just I really dig these. I love the I love what they I love the look. Um, love that they're not RGB, and then of course the the performance. I really really you know I really appreciate the performance. So like I said a bit ago, I, I had these on my 2700X, same exact board. It's a Crosshair uh, 7 X470 chipset. And so I, with my 2700X, I was running these at 3533 CL14. I was pretty happy with them, but I got my new my new uh, 3800X, and now I'm running these at 3800 MHz at CL14. So these hit that little uh, that diamond standard that uh, Ryzen ha is at, that 3800 CL14. So you see them installed there. They just look great. They look terrific. That uh that board there, you know, it's black and silver, so they they match perfectly, so they look they look great. So then let me show you here this one here, and you can see I did I did a little cache memory benchmark on IDA. Um, you can see my SBD here, running here Samsung. It's a 32 meg 3200 megahertz kit CL14. You can see my reads pushing 57 gig, my copies pushing 56 gig, and my latency 62.7. So my best latency so far is about 62.2, but that was with a single ring stick. So I was pretty impressed with that. And then you can see that, that I'm at a 4,400 megahertz, 3,800 megahertz on the, on the RAM, and then CL14. So you can see what I'm running right now. You see right there is my Ryzen 7 3800. I'm running at about 1.3 volts and 4.4 .4 gigahertz here. My board's at X470 Crosshair 7. You can see my clocks here, 14, TR, TRCD, I had a push up of 15, but everything else is pretty much the same, 14, 14, 14, 2640, TRFC uh, was 252, so TRCD was 15, if I said that incorrectly, but you can see I'm running at, at a 3800 megahertz, CL14, and then you can see the SPD here, 3200 megahertz, CL14. So I've been really, really happy, really impressed with this kit. And you can see here, there's my memory clock at 1900. So just double that, be 3800, and then 14, 15, 14, TRFC of 252. I'm running these at 1.5 volts as well. And so just a quick disc disclaimer here, I just wanted to talk real quick about, about these and that all my testing that I'm doing right now, I, I'm only going up to 1.5 volts. I'm testing between 1.45 and 1.5 volts because I'm definitely willing to run my uh, my bead eye at 1.5 volts daily. So so that's what I've been testing to is up to 1.5 volts, getting them with no errors, no memory errors at all, so we don't get any of the BSOD screens. 
And so that's kind of where we're at. Like I said before, on my 2700X, I was hitting 35, 33, but on my 3800X, it's got a much better memory controller. I'm hitting 3800 CL14. So I've been just so happy with these. They've been terrific. They look excellent. They look so good. And then on top of that, their performance is better than I thought. I actually have these up for sale. I was going to sell these and get a 3600 megahertz CL16 set because I wanted to see if I could just hit that uh, 3600 CL14 with this uh, dual rank uh, 16 gig sticks. But this this blew right past it. I hit 3800 megahertz CL14 with these sticks. So I think I'm going to take them off the market and keep them and then uh, elect to not purchase that 3600 CL16 kit. But anyways... I've had a blast. You know, I'm having a good time uh, uh, reviewing and uh, testing out these kits. I've got a couple more kits I'm going to do here in the next couple videos. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free. And I appreciate your time. Everyone have a great evening. Late.